for the years. You don't watch Premier League, so can can we tone it down? Tone tone it down a little, a little bit down. Tone it down. So you guys play my United, your at enemies and rivals at the weekend. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, are you optimistic of a win? I'm very like I'm confident of a win for this game, but I'm not confident for a clean sheet. Oh, you, you are sure you will win? Yes, I'm very confident we will win, but I'm not sure for a clean sheet. Uh, even though logically, right, you should yeah. be confident for a win, but when it comes to a derby and when it comes to Manchester United, sometimes they they find a way to get under your skin. Yeah, so sure. Even sure. though, even though logically, you guys should be actually be, be blitzing, destroying, obliterating Manchester United. But there's still a small chance that Manchester United can just come and spoil the parade. It's of course it's very possible now because it's a derby and it doesn't matter where Manchester United are on the league table because they will always want to show up. But the reason why I'm confident is I'm not confident that we'll give Manchester United. I'm not saying we'll give them 5-0, 6-0. I'm not I'm not expecting that. I'm <laughs> expecting a kind of 2-1, 3-1 kind of win. That kind of mm. thing. Yeah, but so you, you guys just edge, you edge it. That's not confidence. You, you just see, edge you it. See, at this point right now, eh, if we win all mm. our games, 1-1-0, one, one, I'll take it. It's three points. I don't care how we win right now. As long as we're just getting that win and we're keeping that gap close, I'll take it. But I'm very confident we'll win. Because I think every player is fit, apart from Jack Grealish. And Kevin De Bruyne. Like, Haaland, the last game, you know... um. The game we played Chelsea, it was that period Haaland lost his grandma or so. So, and he was um, coming back from injury too in that, um, he was just coming back from injury that period. So, he wasn't really sharp. But after that, he played a few games and it's, it feels like Haaland is getting back to his reading. But that game against um, Luton, Haaland was different. He was very, very different in terms of his hold-up play. Like, it. Haaland was just different. Against, against, against who? Against who? Luton. Okay. The, the way you are waxing lyrical, I see you play against Real Madrid. The Luton, now you're here waxing and say, you know, oh, the you game against... against. You, know the, you know the problem with, with some, some football fans? If you, don't <laughs> yeah. beat Luton, if you don't beat Luton now, they'll say, oh, Luton, you lost against Luton. When you beat Luton now, they'll say, oh, it's just Luton. What do you put? What? It's still put out. Say, I'm no game saying the, the, way you are, the way you are eulogizing about beating you Luton. Yeah, turn it down. Come on. Like uh -huh. you beat Luton, yes, congratulations. But why are you acting as if you, you, you played against a top opponent? Like stop because it. I played against a very good Luton are a good side at your home, especially. Everything that has gone there, yes, you've won them, but most things Arsenal went there and uh it was I think it was nine minutes ago and Arsenal scored now to get a win. Liverpool went there. Liverpool struggled. Man City went there. Man City struggled. Except this FA Cup. That was just the difference. So, what are you saying? Luton have... Anybody that goes to their home, you will sweat it out. It's not as if Luton okay. are just a so walkover. You are what? confident you guys will beat Man U this weekend in the derby, right? Yeah, I'm very confident. We should get the job but done. If, if, you, if you look at the recent... Result. Uh, if you look at the form of both teams, right? Yeah. Manchester City have won... Uh, four out of their last five Premier, Premier League games. Mm -hmm. Why Manchester United to have won their last four out of their five and lost one? Manchester Man drew one. You guys are second. Uh, 26 games played, 18 wins, mm -hmm. uh, five draws, and three losses, 59 points. Manchester United, after playing 26 games, 14 wins, two draws, and 10 losses. That's devastating. Zero goal difference. Uh, Haaland, your key player, uh, 17 goals, five assists. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, your key player, three goals, and five assists. So, in terms of form, it's mm -hmm. not that the gap is not that big. Right? Yes, yes. In the last five matches. So, it's been an interesting game. Like I said, I'm not going to try to be uh, biased by saying Manchester United have a great chance. They don't have a great chance. Let's be fair. They don't have a great chance. But it's just that I just think that when it comes to this kind of debut games, yeah, be a banana skin. It's just the yeah. banana skin, in my yeah, opinion. Of course, if it was a game where I really don't feel confident, you know, I always come straight. I don't hide how I feel whenever I... But for this game... Not all the time. Feel, not, not all the time. If it's a game... I've, honestly, if it's a game where I don't feel confident, I'll tell you I'll tell you in the Champions League, I don't want to face 
I'm just um, digress a little, but in the Champions League, I don't want to face Atletico Madrid or Inter Milan to the final. Any other team I want to face. But you see those two teams, I want to avoid them. Manchester United, at their home in Old Trafford, you saw the way we played them. It was pretty much one-sided. Where Jack Grealish and Bernardo Silva were just tormenting that um, left-hand side. I don't know if you watched the game. It was pretty much one-sided. And yes, this is in at Etihad. We've dropped points. Like, Liverpool came there, got a point. Chelsea came there, got a point. But it just been fine, fine margins. It's not like teams have come there and ruled us over and dominated us. It's just been more about ourselves, not, not doing the job. On Sunday, Haaland, my only worry is just Haaland should just take his chances because we'll definitely create chances. We should just get the job done. That's it. We just get the job done. That's it. So you are you are you are sure of victory? Yeah, I'm sure of three points. If asked me this question four times, I'll be five times. <laughs> I, I just think that there's a potential. I, I when I when I read some of the steps coming from the interview Rashford just gave, is a yeah. you, you, you want to you will want to back up that interview with a fantastic performance at the MTR. So I'm looking forward to maybe Rashford can just come there and help us and spoil the parade. You no, know? yeah, I, I just hope. Yeah, I, even and though he's on hold. Yeah, sure. But again, if you look at it, Manchester United even have injuries. Some of their key players are injured. I think Bruno might not play. Um, Maguire might not play. Martinez is, might not play. I don't know if Luke Shaw will play. So they're not really coming in with that game with like a full Manchester United squad. So we have more of the advantage on our side. Like if we don't get the job done against them, I'll be very, very surprised. When I mean we don't get the job done, if we get a draw, I'll be very, very surprised. If you look at the midfield, I think we'll, um, Kobe Maino, it might be Kobe Maino, Casemiro, and Casemiro. Um, Scott. Um, Bruno Fernandes. I think, I think Bruno Fernandes will make it. He's just yeah. doubtful. I think he will make it. Uh, or maybe Scott. Uh, or Scott. But yeah. I'm feel, and Holland, too, is not playing. Holland is not playing as well. So. Um, uh, we should get the job done, honestly. Yes, it won't be an easy one. That's why I tell you, I'm not expecting a 3-0, 4-0, 5-0. But I'm expecting like a 2-1 kind of scoreline because I know we don't keep clean sheets. Okay. Or maybe 3-1, like 3-2, that kind of thing. Or four, I, I, seriously, all jokes aside, I expect Manchester City to win regardless of my me soliciting and 